Hey everybody, so glad you could join us again for Sanwa Extravaganza, brought to you by SanwaAmerica.com, your number one resource to buy Sanwa multimeters, shipped directly from the US, fast and effective, gotta love it. Today in the hot seat, we have the Sanwa PM3, oh yeah, this is a pocket multimeter, pocket rocket, well, with remains to be seen, but you know what, we're gonna try, we're gonna hope, but at least it is a Sanwa, well, that's a good thing. PM3 ships in this bubble-wrapped enclosure. Uh, yeah, came here nice and fast from SanwaAmerica.com. And beauty. I love it when you get these enclosures because it kind of looks like you have a multimeter with a multimeter. And here we are, the actual meter itself. Comes in this nice little pocket-style enclosure with the Sanwa PM3 logo emblazoned on the front. Of course, we get our Sanwa calibration certificate, par for the course with every new Sanwa you get, just telling you that this has indeed been calibrated from the factory. Now, whether or not that factory is in Japan or elsewhere, they all ship with a calibration certificate. As well, you get the Sanwa Digital PM3 multimeter manual. Now, this one is more of a pullout style, but hey, that's okay. Has everything you need to know. Nice schematics, diagrams, the whole nine yards tells you exactly what your PM3 can do. PM3 itself has captive test leads, so these are permanently attached to the multimeter. Uh, that being said, it's not always a bad thing, especially when it comes to pocket multimeters, because, hey, you're not going to have to worry about what did I do with my test leads? No, they're always attached. Very small, very thin. In fact, according to the uh, box, 8.5 millimeters or so they say. Well, let's just double check, shall we? And 8.6 close enough now the meter itself wow it is really interesting it has a very solid uh body again uh doesn't feel cheap or flimsy anything like that at all it has a very nice solid feel made in china um at the sanwa factory uh sanwa electric instrument company japan now the PM3 is going to spend a lot of time in this sort of a position because there's no tilt stand, no magnet, nothing like that. So it's basically going to be in that pocket enclosure or just lying flat on your desk. That being said, once again, has a nice solid tactile feel and that selector switch, though it's a little bit hard to, to, to move, you really in reality don't have to move it very far because of the selection mechanism the way it's set up um has a pretty good tactile feel i gotta say you don't have that nice clickety click clackety clack but it does hit that range selection with authority in fact it's not going to get stuck between ranges as much as i try it just doesn't happen that's a good thing starting off in volts dc with the precision reference and it's been warming up for a while in fact over an hour 10.00 is what we want, 10.05 is what we get, and that is still in spec, looking good. Let's take a closer look at the selector switch, starting off with DC volts up to 500 volts AC DC, as well as the frequency and a duty cycle. AC volts up to 500 volts, resistance, diode, continuity, and capacitance. At the top of the meter we have four buttons, nice and yellow, the select, the REL, data hold, and as well, the frequency and duty cycle selector. 500 volts maximum for this meter, CAT2 rated. Uh, that seems pretty fair to me. Once again, we have only the CE logo in terms of a third-party uh, standard. Uh, that's it, that's all. Beside the PM3, we have the PM11 uh, from Sanwa, and you can see slightly different look altogether. Um, Display-wise, though, I definitely prefer the PM3. Uh, the font is bigger, uh, just a little bit crisper, and overall, I just like it. Now, we don't have that uh, bar graph like we have on the 11, but that being said, I, I do prefer the display of the PM3. If you haven't visited the website yet, www.sanwaamerica.com. 
yes, all of the Sanwa goodies you see here and plenty more on their website. Direct shipping from the US, fast, reliable, and oh man, it's Sanwa, what more can you ask for? Great service, great people, check them out, sanwamerica.com. Make sure to use the discount coupon codes and enjoy your Sanwa. AC volts now. Now this is not true RMS, just take note of that. But uh, once again, for regular uh, 60 hertz measurements, really not that big of a deal. Um, 121.4 coming up on the meter, looking good. Now with this as well, we can also check out the duty cycle frequency by hitting that button. And there's our frequency, 60 hertz. Duty cycle, 49.8%, awesome. Test leads on the PM3 are definitely smaller than your stock Sanwa test leads. Um, yeah, they don't have that nice sort of rubberized feel as well. But that being said, they still have that gold uh, plating, which is a definite bonus. And uh, honestly, for a pocket multimeter, I think they're fine. In fact, they're just really good. Okay, quick look now at resistance. Remember, this has a 40 mega ohm capacitance. Uh, that's it, that's all. So one mega ohm is where we're at now. Let's bring it up to nine mega ohm. And it's ranging, it's getting there. So there we are. Yeah, definitely on the slow side. Let's try seven mega ohm. And down to five mega ohm. Once it's there, it seems to be fairly accurate. Let's try two mega ohm. And bada boom, of course, the high resolution now kicking in. And finally back to one mega ohm. Yeah, so, I mean, all things considered, not the fastest, but definitely I've seen a lot worse than that. And once again, hooked up to that 100 ohm standard resistor, precision resistor. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. So to switch ranges once you get to the far right, just use that select button and it brings us between uh, the capacitance diode continuity. Good stuff. Now we are going to check. Yeah, you got it, diodes. Now this should be interesting. Here we go, starting off with our standard diode. And we have that forward, whoa, forward voltage drop. On we go. The red LED, nothing. The yellow, oh my God, here we go. Blue, finally the white. So in terms of LED, yeah, it's just not gonna be there, is it? One more time with that uh, standard diode. 0.466 actually seems a little bit low. Usually 0.5 is what we wanna see here. So yeah, even on that uh, standard diode, it's just a little bit low with that forward voltage drop display. Okay, let's just see how much juice it's putting out. So once again, 1.4 volts, not even 1.5, so 1.45 maximum output voltage in diode mode. Just not enough. Alrighty, next up it is continuity. And I've got the standard stock probes that are permanently attached. So we're not gonna be doing probe masters with this little meter, but that's okay. Three, two, one. Wow, hey, better than I thought. Latched, fairly loud and fairly quick. How loud is it? Sixty two point nine decibels, maximum output volume and continuity. Capacitance mode on the meter. Once again, a very low capacitance range, only 200 uh, microfarad. So really um, narrows down what you can use this for in terms of capacitor testing. Um, we do have a rel mode though. So look at that, we can rel out any straight capacitance here, which is a good thing. But once again, we're relegated to 200 microfarad. Let's just give it a quick C. And... There we go, so this is a 10 microfarad. Oopsie, you can't even see that, sorry. Try that again. 10 microfarad, indeed, that's what it is, but uh, yeah. Well, thus far, what can I say? It's a small pocket multimeter, limited functionality, but what it does, it seems to do fairly well. Let's take a quick peek on the inside. 
get into the inside of the multimeter. Not much going on here. Uh, one Phillips screw, bada bing, bada bang. Nicely, we have a threaded insert here where that screw makes contact, so you're good to go, no matter how many chain times you have to change that battery. And speaking of batteries, there we are. We have a Maxell here, made in Japan. It's a 2032 CR2032, so one button cell battery to power your little PM3. You can see those test leads are permanently attached here, but nice solder blobs going on. That is the um, mechanism to hold that selector switch in place. And here is our crystal oscillator. Look, they made a nice little cut, a little recess for that oscillator to uh, be housed. There is our piezo gives us that fairly decent continuity considering it's such a small meter. And over here we have one PTC as well on the voltage side. Now remember this doesn't do current. Now this is a basic multimeter really designed for a grab and go for tiny jobs. But you know what? Hey, it's built at least fairly well. Nice and clean PCB. Oh my God, look at that. So nice and clean. Love it. Okay, gonna put it back together. Come back with my closing, closing thoughts for the Sanwa PM3 Pocket Multimeter. I like it, I really do. It's very, very simple, I know, but boy, it just gets the job done. You just stick it in your pocket and pull it out and bada boom, bada bing, put it in your car, glove compartment, in the toolbox. That case, carrying case is really well made. It's plastic, but it's sturdy. Good con cardboard um, firm to, firmness to it. All in all, it's a portable multimeter that's gonna last. Hey, it's a Sanwa, can't complain about that. Yeah, I sure wish we had a little bit more in terms of capacitance range, but it does, at least it does something. It doesn't come with a backlight, that's a bit of a downer. And those captive leads, well, you know, I'm not a big fan of captive, but once again, when it comes to pocket meters, I definitely see where they're coming from. The Sanwa PM3 pocket multimeter, though not quite a pocket rocket, gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. Yeah, it's a pocket multimeter that doesn't do anything it doesn't claim to, and it just does the basics really well. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Boy, Sanwa Extravaganza, it's continuing. Got some very cool stuff coming up. Don't forget Sanwa prizes as well. Three Sanwa prize giveaways. Oh man, thank you, uh, SanwaAmerica.com. If you haven't been there yet, visit the website. Use that discount coupon code SANWAWEEK, 20% off your first SANWA. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Visit them today. You won't regret it. Till the next one, keep on testing.